potatoes baked in foil around the campfire are a bit of a tradition for the guys when they're working in the woods. But they've given me permission to titivate the spuds a bit today, so I hope I can do them proud. I'm carefully hollowing out each cooked spud and piling on a bit of butter as I go. Just because it's veggie doesn't mean it can't be a touch greedy too. I'm spiking the spuds with salt and pepper, cheese, sliced spring onions, a dollop of creme fraiche and a trickle of olive oil. Now I'm really trying to mix this and turn it and break it down a little bit, but not mash it to a complete puree. I still want a bit of chunky potato texture in there. To serve these at their absolute best, I want the skins a bit crispier and a nice crusty, almost slightly burnt top, and that's where the Dutch oven comes into play. I don't want the spuds to actually sit on the bottom or they'll burn. So I'm gonna recycle the baking foil. And before the lid goes on, final scattering of grated cheddar. I want to get a few hot coals on the lid too because I want some downward heat to get the tops of those potatoes lovely and crispy. Campfire spuds cry out for campfire beans, so I'm heating through a couple of tins of cannellini beans in a roasted tomato sauce made piquant with my spice mix of cumin, paprika, oregano and a little cayenne. Time for a little peek at the spuds. The thing about these Dutch ovens is they can get absurdly hot and frazzle everything in seconds, or they can take forever, but hopefully we're... Oh, look at that, that's looking all melty and toasty and hot and delicious. I think we're in the zone. The spuds will be just a few more minutes, but out here in the woods, the mind can wander a bit. And as I'm eating pretty much the same stuff as Kip, I can't, I can't move it a millimetre. That is a strong horse. <laughs> well, it was worth a try. Right. And thankfully, the food is ready so. before I've injured myself. Campfire beans. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You never know with these Dutch ovens. Sometimes everything's burnt to a crisp. Sometimes it's raw and sometimes... <gasps> wow. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Oh. There you go, Kate. Thank you very much. Ooh, quick with the plate. Oh, oh, well done. You've got it. Lovely. Mm, that's good. It's a proper lunch, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. It yeah. It's just what you need, don't we? Day to day, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Especially as we've got another two or three tons still to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right sort of working lunch, Steve? Absolutely, yeah. Definitely so. I mean, this sort of work, you burn off so many carbs. Mm. Uh, little appreciative noises there from uh, yes. Kip as well. <laughs> Definitely no beans for you. <laughs>